Hello viewers, how are you today? God bless you. Praise the Lord. My name is Joy and I'm here today by God's grace even for another discipleship class. Today by God's grace we'll be going through living in Christ. Our topic today is living in Christ through daily spiritual discipline. Before I go on, let us share a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful day. I bless your holy name. I give you all the glory. Lord, I declare that your name be glorified in all the earth. Lord, I come before you this day. I pray that you will sanctify me by your blood. I pray that you will forgive me and help me, Lord, even to do your will. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, even as your word goes forth, your word will go with power and your word will work in our lives so that we'll be able to do your will. The Bible says that your word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Father, help us to hide your word in our heart and to be obedient to your word. I pray for my brothers and sisters out there, Lord, that your presence will be with them. Lord, as we study your word, as we obey your word, you will give us grace to be granted in you. Thank you for answering my prayers. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. So again, this day, we are going to look at living in Christ through spiritual discipline. Spiritual discipline. What are spiritual disciplines? This uh, spiritual disciplines are spiritual exercises let's say spiritual exercises that will help us to grow in our faith in our work with the lord on a daily basis like physically you want to do some workouts some exercises to help your muscles to to build your muscles you know to heal even some maybe physical ailments you have also, it is important in our spiritual life to have spiritual exercises, spiritual discipline every day so that we'll be able to grow. Let's look at Colossians chapter 1, verse 22 and 23. In the body of his flesh, through death, to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Let me start from 21. Colossians 1, 21 to 23. And you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Verse 23. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard, which was preached to every creature on the heaven, of which I, Paul, became a minister. So our spiritual Daily discipline help us to be grounded in the word of God. Help us to be steadfast in faith so that we will not be moved by errors or um, wrong doctrines. We will be grounded in the Lord, in our faith. And also, I want us to look at um, John chapter 8, verse 1 and 32. John 8, 31 and 32. The Bible says here, he said, 30, hold on, 31. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So if we abide in the word of God, we'll become Jesus' disciples indeed. And when we know the truth, this truth that we know as we abide in the word of God is going to set us free. It is what we keep in our heart, in our spirit, the, the word of God that will um, 
memorize, that we study, that we hear, that's in our spirit. That's what God is going to work on to help us to grow, to know the truth, and to be able to, you know, walk in the truth. And, and as a result, we'll be free from all errors. We'll be free from evil. We'll be free from sins. Psalm 119, uh, 11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against you. When we hide the word of God in our heart, it helps us not to sin against God. For instance, like there was a day I did my quiet time, and I was studying Philippians, I think two, and somewhere in that chapter, it was talking about not grumbling or arguing about anything. The Bible said, do not grumble or argue about anything. And you know, I got that word in my spirit and went out that day, you know, to do my daily walk at home. And somebody came to me like, help me with this um, particular uh, work and I, I agreed to do the work but as I was doing the work I didn't really like doing that so I was grumbling in my heart as I was doing the work and the Lord reminded me the word I studied in the morning Woo! I was really humbled and I began to repent and I, I was Telling the Lord, I'm sorry for grumbling, forgive me, help me, Lord, even to do your will. And after that, I had my peace and I began to sing, began to praise the Lord, and I continued to do the work with joy. So the word of God is very, very powerful when we hide the word of God in our heart, when we study the word of God every day to guide us through the day, to help us, to keep us from evil, and to help us to live a joyful, peaceful, and holy life. Amen. And therefore, we are going to read from John 4, 15, John chapter 15, verse um, 5. 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. 6, verse 6 says, If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out, he is cast out as a branch, and is withered. And they gather them, and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. When we have the word of God in our hearts and we obey it and we continue to meditate upon the word of God, whatever we ask God by his, through his word, he will answer us. God is faithful to his word because he cannot deny you know, his word. Praise the Lord. It is very important that we have this daily walk with the Lord. We start with a quiet time every morning. Normally, personally, I wake up around 4, 4.30 a.m. And I start my quiet time. I start with singing, praising God, you know, um, true songs or psalms or just you know, telling the Lord how much he is to me, what he has done in my life, thanking him for all his blessings, thanking him for who he is. And then I go to the passage for the day. I choose a passage of the, of the Bible, maybe read, sometimes I read about a, a, a chapter, a chapter. But you can start with like one... Or five verses each day. It's very important that we, we, we read the scripture. You can do a 30 minutes quiet time or one hour if you have the time, but you must make sure it is consistent. It is consistent daily and it, especially in the morning. It's very good. Some people like, oh, I don't have time in the morning. Maybe when, when I come back in the night. The psalmist said, early will I seek you, O Lord. It is important that we seek the Lord early. The word that we study, you know, that we read in the morning, God will speak to us through that word. He will keep it in our hearts and it will help us 
through the day to strengthen us, to give us uh, joy, to give us encouragement, to give us hope through the day. So it is very important that we do that. And also the reason why we need to do these daily exercises, spiritual exercises, is for us to be fruitful according to John um, 15. Um, he said we need to be fruitful, the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, you know, forbearance, self-control. All this fruit, we need to grow it in our, in our lives. And it's only through the Word of God that we can grow you know, this fruit. And also to be grounded in our faith, to be established in our faith uh, through this, um, through the word of God. And uh, we also need to know how to hear the word of God. And our daily quiet time helps us greatly to know how to hear the voice of God. Uh, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. When you consistently, you know, Read the word of God, study the word of God, you know, meditate on it, memorize it. <clears throat> you begin to hear, you know, the Holy Spirit walking in your in your heart through those words. God begins to remind you of this of the word. He begins to speak to you through the word. Sometimes when I go into the scripture and as I'm reading, it's like if that's just jumped to me, I'm like, this is for you. So it is very important to help us to be able to know how God speaks to us through his word. Also, it helps us to live a holy life, a perfect life. The word of God works in us to remove, to cleanse us from all sins, all iniquity, error, uh, assumption. The word of God cleanses us. Jesus says, was praying, Jesus was praying to the Lord, to God. In, in um, John, he said, John 17, 17, sanctify them by their truth. Your word is truth. So we are sanctified through the word of God, which is truth. And this keeps us from falsehood and from error. And so as children of God, we need daily cleansing of the word, daily cleansing of the word, spirit, soul, and body to be able to grow in our faith, to be able to grow in holiness, to be able to grow in maturity, and to be able to do know and do the will of the Lord. So your quiet time is important. Set a time uh, and a place apart to, to stay in the presence of God, just you and God alone. It's very important. Maybe... Um, 30 minutes or one hour, you have your Bible with you, you have your notes. Sometimes you can have your song book with you. If you don't know some song hop offhand, it's good. You sing song unto the Lord. God wants to hear your voice and you take notes. You take notes of what God is telling you during your quiet time because the word of God has the power to quicken our spirit, soul, and body. So you want to ask What's God speaking to me this morning as you study the word of God? What's God telling me? Is there a lesson for me to learn from the word? Is there a warning? Is God rebuking me about some habit in my life, some sinful thoughts and desires? Is there a promise from God that I need to claim? Like God said, I will go out with joy and be led forth in peace. That's the promise of God for us. So every day you claim that promise, I will go out with joy and be led forth in peace. It shall be well with me. We need to claim those promises. Or is there a praise? Maybe we need to thank God for his blessings in our life, in the church, and in the life of our families or people that God is bringing into our life. It's also important. Is there uh, a prayer that we need to pray? Like, in the uh, in John seventeen seventeen it says, sanctify them by your truth. Thy word is true. We can pray that, oh Lord, sanctify me by your truth. Sanctify me by your truth. Your word is true. It's a prayer. It's a word of prayer for us. And you know, God hears our prayers. And I pray, Lord, that as we do this on a daily basis, the Lord will grow our faith. The Lord will sanctify us. The Lord will help us to be vessels unto honor to the glory of his name praise the lord i hope you have been blessed so the way as christians 
believers, the way we abide in Christ is through the word of God. As we hear the word of God, we, we read the word of God, we study the word of God deeper, and we memorize the word of God. It's a, it's a conscious effort. We memorize it and we meditate upon it. We meditate upon the word, the Holy Spirit. We open the word of God to us to be able to have deeper understanding of the word. And we need to obey the word. We need to obey the word and do whatever the word says we should do. We need to obey. It is important. If you just read the word of God, hear the word of God, meditate, memorize, and you don't do it, the Bible says we'll be deceiving ourselves. James 1.22 Be a doers of the word. It said we should not just be hearers alone deceiving ourselves but doers of the word. So we need grace to ask for grace every day to be doers of the word of God. That is very, very important. We need the grace. not easy because our flesh, we want to say, oh, I don't like to fast. I don't like fasting and praying is another spiritual discipline. Maybe once a week, you want to start fasting, fasting of food, water. You can do that. It will help you, your spiritual senses to to be sharpened so that you know all those desires all those challenges you're having spiritually you know god will help you to overcome it and you know you'll be able to your heart will be open more to spiritual things as you meditate as you memorize through fasting and prayers i i do fasting and prayers a lot by god's grace and it has really helped my spiritual life to grow to be able to to develop you know my spiritual muscle my bones spiritual bones and you know the discernment in the spirit and to grow in spiritual fruit too you know, when we wait upon the Lord through fasting and prayer and studying the word of God, you know, God speaks to us and the flesh is kind of subdued for that moment and you, you'll be able to be alert and sensitive to the Spirit of God. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you and I pray that the Lord will continue to uphold you and me to the end by His grace. Amen. God bless you. See you next time.